Hello, everybody. You're listening to Let's Master English, and my name is Coach Shane. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for downloading and listening to Let's Master English Podcast 38. Oh, we've got a good podcast today, a great news story, a really interesting fact, and a couple of really good questions. Now, this week's podcast is brought to you by DDM Light. DDM Light. Uh, the website is www.letsmasterenglish.com slash DDMLITE, DDM Light. More information there. I'll talk about it later. Enough chit chat. Let's start this podcast, huh? Let's start the news. After you die, is your journey over? No. Thanks to Celestis, your remains can be blasted into space. And now they're offering the service, the journey of a lifetime, um, a death time, for your pets. Just a quick trip out and back costs 995 bucks, but a blast into deep space will set you back 12,500 big ones. Act before August 7th and get a 20% discount. <laughs> what? What are they talking? They're talking about space? Going to space? All right, let me read it again. After you die, is your journey over? No. Thanks to Celestis, your remains can be blasted into space. And now they're offering the service, the journey of a lifetime, um, a death time, for your pets. Just a quick trip out and back costs 995 bucks. But a blast into deep space will set you back 12,500 big ones. Act before August 7th and get a 20% discount. Oh my goodness. Yep, this is a business, everybody. This business has been around since the late 1990s. And what this business is, well, it started out by sending dead people into space. Yes. When you die, if you cremate your body, that means, you know, burn your body to ashes then they'll take some of those ashes and send them into space. Of course, you have to pay a lot of money. And now, this business has been successful, so they're offering to send your dead pet into space. So if you have a cat or a dog or a bird or a turtle or a fish or whatever you have, if you cremate your pet, they will take some of those ashes and send them to space. Why? I don't know. But believe it or not, this is a successful business. And many people want to go into space, even if they're not alive. It's amazing. Hmm. Well, so let's look at the first sentence. After you die, is your journey over? So after you die, is your journey over? Now, journey, we should put it in quotation marks. So after you die, comma, is your quotation mark journey, quotation mark, over, question mark? That's the sentence. And in this case, journey doesn't actually mean a trip or a voyage. It actually means life, being existence. After you die, is your life over? Is your existence over? Is your journey over? 
And some people believe, yes, it's over. Some people believe they'll go to heaven. There are many different beliefs. What do you believe? After you die, is your journey over? Well, the answer is no, it's not over. Thanks to Celestis. C, that's a capital C, big letter C, E L E S T I S. This is the name of a company. Thanks to Celestis, your remains can be blasted into space. So thanks to this company, this company is doing something so that your journey is not over. Your life is not over after you die. What is this company doing? They will blast your remains into space. So your remains means your body. And once again, it must be cremated. It must be burned into ash. And they'll take part of that ash and they'll blast it into space. B-L-A-S-T. Blast. To blast means when they send a rocket into space, it has that big explosion. And then that is to blast into space on a rocket. Wow. So the sentence again. Thanks to Celestis, your remains can be blasted into space. Now, remember, the word remains is always with an S. The remaining parts of your body. Hopefully, they're in one piece Well, or an ash. Anyway, remains. It's always with an S. Okay? Next sentence. And now they're offering the service, the journey of a lifetime, um, a death time, for your pets. So, and now, now, or 2019, 2014, they're offering, Celestis, the company, is offering the service. What service? Sending remains into space for your pets. And now they're offering the service for your pets. What service? The journey of a lifetime. So when we say journey of a lifetime, we imagine the most fantastic trip of your life. The most wonderful voyage of your life. But wait, you're not alive, you're dead. So he changed it from lifetime, um, death time. So now this is not a word that we usually use, but when we say in a lifetime, it means during the years you are alive. So therefore, death time would mean during the years you are dead. So it makes sense, and if you go onto the internet, You will find people using this word, but officially it's not in the dictionary. So let's listen to the sentence again. And now they're offering the service, the journey of a lifetime, um, death time, for your pets. Just a quick trip out and back costs 995 bucks. So, There are different trips into space. One of the trips is you go out into space and then you come back pretty quickly. Now, if you want that trip, it costs $995. That's not too bad, except the person or animal going is dead. Just a quick trip out and back out into space and then back to earth costs 995 bucks and of course bucks b u c k s is the daily english word for dollars but a blast into deep space will set you back 12500 big ones so in this case if you want to be blasted into deep space. That means forever. 
That means maybe to the moon and past the moon, past Mars, past Venus. I'm going backwards. Anyway, uh, past all the planets and just keep going and going forever and ever. If you want that trip to space, it's going to cost you a lot of money. It will set you back 12,500 big ones. So set you back means cost you. It will cost you. 12,500 big ones, well, big ones means dollars, but a lot of dollars, something very expensive. So $12,500, wow, that's much more expensive. So the sentence again, just a quick trip out and back costs 995 bucks, but a blast into deep space will set you back 12,500 big ones. And the last sentence, act before August 7th and get a 20% discount. Yay, a sale. <laughs> act before August 7th. Do something before August 7th. Decide before August 7th. Buy something before August 7th. Sign a contract before August 7th and get and receive a 20% discount. That's a lot of money. So instead of $12,500, a trip into deep space would only cost $10,000. Hey, not too bad. Forever. Think about it. Your ashes would be traveling forever in space, eternity. Until, of course, they hit something or crashed into something. Or if an alien found you and put you in the garbage, that would not be cool. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This is a pretty crazy story. But we got some great words here. Journey. So sometimes when we say the word journey, we mean life. And many times we say life's journey. The journey of life, experiencing life, existing here on earth. Journey. Celestis, that's the name of the company. Capital C-E-L-E-S-T-I-S. -E -E Remains. That would be the dead body. So sometimes it's, you know, it's, if there was an accident or some sort of war or something, a fire, yeah, the remains are not nice to see. Uh, but just, you know, if you die a normal death, old age, uh, your body is still your remains. So when you hear the word remains, it means dead bodies. Blasted into space. Sent into space via a rocket. Journey of a lifetime. The most fantastic voyage of your life. Deep space. Outer space. Beyond the planets. Bucks. Means dollars. Set you back. If we say it fast, set you back. It means cost you. Big ones. In this case, it means big dollars, an expensive amount of dollars. Act before. Purchase before. Decide before. All great expressions. So not too bad, right? Okay, I'm going to read it two more times. The first time... Nice and smooth. And the second time, normal. Are you ready? Here we go. After you die, is your journey over? No. Thanks to Celestis, your remains can be blasted into space. And now they're offering the service 
the journey of a lifetime, um, uh, death time, for your pets. Just a quick trip out and back costs 995 bucks. But a blast into deep space will set you back 12,500 big ones. Act before August 7th and get a 20% discount. After you die, is your journey over? No! Thanks to Celestis, your remains can be blasted into space. And now they're offering the service, the journey of a lifetime, um, death time, for your pets. Just a quick trip out and back costs 995 bucks, but a blast into deep space will set you back 12,500 big ones. Act before August 7th and get a 20% discount. How you doing, everybody? This is Country Shane, and I'm here to bring you the facts. The only way to get a dead body into space is to cremate it. In some countries, that ain't nothing. In Japan, 99% of people are cremated, while in Poland, it's less than 10%. How common is cremation in your country? This has been Country Shane bringing you the facts. Wow, that's pretty interesting. So different countries have a very different rate of cremation. And Japan has about the highest in the world. That's amazing. Well, in America, the average rate of cremation would be about 30-35%. So basically, if 10 people die, 7 people want to be buried in the ground, and 3 people want to be cremated. Now, it's interesting, some states are very different. In the state of Nevada, cremation is highest at about 65%. Now, cremation might depend on your religion or whether you live in the city or the country. So tell me, leave a message. What about cremation in your country? Okay, it's time for some questions. And in this podcast, I'm keeping it short. We've only got two questions, but they're great. So the first question is about fruit. Do Americans have pomegranates? If so, how often and how do you eat them? Okay, so there's a fruit called the pomegranate. And the spelling is P O M E. G-R-A-N-A-T-E. That's a long one. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. The pomegranate, from the outside it, in America, it, it's usually red. And it might look like an apple, except the outside of the fruit is really hard. Much harder than an apple. I wouldn't want to bite into a pomegranate. But you cut it open or you peel it open and inside there are these ruby red seeds that taste so delicious. Oh, I like it. So, yes, we do have pomegranates in America. And actually, when I take my morning walk or my evening walk, I do go by a house that has a pomegranate tree. Now, they are popular in California and Arizona. That's where people can grow uh, the pomegranates. It has to be usually a drier climate. So California and Arizona have a desert, so it's kind of perfect. Do Americans eat them? Yes, we especially enjoy sucking on the seeds and then spitting them out. But it seems like a lot of work. So it's not that 
common. Maybe in the southwestern part of America, it's more common than, for example, in the northern Midwest. But I remember when I was young, probably, you know, twice or maybe three times, I had the chance to eat the pomegranate seeds and I loved them. Now, pomegranate juice is becoming more popular because people realize it might be really good for the body. So, are pomegranates popular? I would say everybody probably knows of the pomegranate and has probably tasted the pomegranate, but is it popular? No, not really. Not like the apple or the banana or the grapefruit or the orange. Those are super popular. Will the pomegranate become more and more popular? Maybe. Maybe there's a business for you. You can start some sort of business and and export delicious pomegranates and pomegranate juice and pomegranate jelly and whatever else you can think of into the United States and make a killing. That'd be cool, huh? And our next question comes from our dictation team. Now, everybody, this podcast, Let's Master English Podcast 38, will be dictated by you. Yes, several members volunteer every week, and they do the dictation together. Usually about six or seven or eight people take, you know, five minutes here, five minutes there, and then they combine the files into one. Well, one of the big problems when doing this dictation is punctuation. Oh, boy. P-U-N-C-T-U-A-T-I-O-N. Punctuation. Commas, periods, dashes, Oh, all that stuff. Yeah, punctuation is tricky. So the question is, when do I use a period and when do I use a comma? Well, when you listen to me speaking, usually you can hear when a comma is and you can hear when there's a period. So in that situation, that was one sentence and there's a couple of commas. You don't need to worry too much about commas, but at the end of a sentence, you have to remember to put a period. Now, there's no simple rule because some sentences can be very long with lots of phrases and it could be confusing. Obviously, though, the basic sentence starts with a subject, in the middle there's a verb, and at the end there's the object or a prepositional phrase, and then a period. But, unfortunately, English is not that easy. So, what's the best way to learn punctuation? Especially for daily English, not written English, not newspaper English or textbook English, but for how Americans speak? Well, the best way, in my opinion would be to look at the transcripts of movies and situation comedies and television dramas. Look at those transcripts. Those will give you a good idea on how punctuation works. Because you can hear the speaker speak and then you can read and see the punctuation. Actually, that's exactly what we do in DDM. So, some DDM students, they ignore punctuation. Ah, oh, no thank you. They just write the words. And that's okay. However, if you're getting good at the dictation, start thinking about the punctuation. Some of my students are excellent at punctuation. My DDM students, I'm very impressed with their punctuation. And I think they'll tell you it's how you hear the language. How the native speaker speaks it that will tell you how to punctuate it. So once again, especially if you're a DDM member, 
Start paying close attention to my punctuation. Look at when I use a comma, when I use a period, when I use a dot dot dot, or when I use a long dash. Look at those situations and then listen to the person who's speaking and see if you can hear that punctuation. Does that make sense? I hope so. There's no easy answer for punctuation. Um, you know, you can study punctuation in a book. You can look at the newspaper and read books and follow the punctuation. But especially for spoken English, it gets really complicated and sometimes very confusing. So DDM is one of the great teachers of punctuation. Thanks so much for the question. Yes, everybody, that brings us to the end of Let's Master English Podcast 38. A nice and short podcast for you this time. Uh, probably next time it might be longer. Unless you want it short, I can keep it short. Now, like I said, today's prod, today's podcast, today's podcast is brought to you by DDM Lite. That's right. We've started an easier program. People are busy and DDM Lite is proving to be very popular. Now, once again, if you're serious about studying English, if you're kind of in a hurry, if you really need to master English, I always recommend DDM Open, DDM Live, or DDM VIP. Those levels of DDM have eight lessons every month. That's two lessons a week. So if you're serious, if you need to learn English, DDM Open, DDM Live, and DDM VIP are the best choices. However, if you need to learn English, but you're just so busy, your children are making you busy, your job is making you busy, school is making you busy, you're going crazy, you're so busy. Well, then for you, we have DDM Lite. And that's one lesson a week. And you can choose. On Tuesdays in DDM, we always study a situation comedy. We study real daily English and the pronunciation and the expressions and the body language and the culture. And on Fridays, we usually study something more serious with a narrator, like the news or something from history or like last week, something from Bill Gates. So the different, they're very different styles of English. So you can choose, I want to study only Tuesdays. Or you can choose, I want to study only Fridays. And you can even mix. I'll take two Tuesdays and two Fridays. That's also possible. I want you to join. I know you guys are all serious about studying English. So, do it. DDM, I promise. If you don't like DDM, don't worry. You know, it's, it's a one-time registration. If you don't like, if you hate it, if it doesn't work... We'll give you a refund. Don't worry about that. But if you're serious, then trust me, this is a class that is good. Okay? So uh, I want you to join. And it's easy. If you're interested, if you're interested in DDM Lite, go to www.letsmasterenglish.com slash DDM Lite. That's D-D-M-L-I-T-E. And when you go there, there's lots of information. You can read about that, find out exactly what you get, and you can sign up, and, uh, and I'll welcome you to the family. So that's it, everybody. That is uh, the podcast. Thank you so much again for listening, and I promise to be back again next week. Don't forget, we also have Daily Easy English Expression. That's a podcast every day teaching you an easy expression. And if you're on iTunes, go there. Say hi. Leave a rating. Leave a comment. I would appreciate it so much. If you're an Android phone user, no problem. We have an app. 
for both podcasts, and it's free. Thanks to Max. Max developed the app, and people love it. About 500, I think over 500 people now have downloaded the app. That is outstanding. So you can go to www.letsmasterenglish.com slash app and download the app. Okay? That's it, everybody. You guys have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next week. Don't forget, together, let's master English. English.